Did you know the consumer has a higher expectation for an Uber ride than they do for the real estate transaction? No way. I want to hear more about this. Stay tuned. Scott, I, I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that the consumer expectations for an Uber ride were higher than the consumer expectations for the real estate process. That is crazy because I know we set expectations for our clients ahead of time. I never know what I'm gonna get with an Uber ride. Last weekend I was in the car, I couldn't put my suitcase in the trunk or gym equipment was in the way. The seat was ripped and there was dust like this thick on the console. It would gross me out. Anybody who's ever consistently taking a rideshare service like an Uber has been there, right? And I we, Lot, there are a lot of real estate transactions that go down, but there's a reason why you hire the Sack and Stone team. And one of the reasons why you hire the Sack and Stone team is because we're going to exceed all consumer expectations. We use checklists. We've served over 1,500 clients for 30 years. We've found out what works, what doesn't work, and we've got it. We think we've got it down. There are going to be bumps along the way, like Lane said, but we set the expectations up front so you as our client know what you're going to be getting. I think that's it. Any, anybody who trusts a real estate advisor, they want to have uh, the feeling of comfort. They want to know what's going to happen next. They want to have proper expectations and we check off all of those boxes so that way we absolutely make sure that that experience is top notch. And unlike a lot of these Uber drivers who have it as a second gig, this is our main gig. In fact, it's our passion in life. It's our calling. Absolutely. So when it comes to the contest versus Uber experience versus Sack and Stone experience, I can guarantee you that the Sack and Stone experience is going to be so much better. 100%. Thanks for watching.